Ready? I'm so ready. Okay. What a wait, world! Wait, wait. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm back with Thomas Sanders again! What is up, everybody? <gasps> oh, this lovely man has returned. I'm so We're happy going to, be back. to sort some more fictional characters. Mm. Disney characters! Disney characters! Ah! So I brought my little trick or treat bag ah. from Mickey's Halloween party, and it's full of like, I don't know, 30 something. At a least lot. 30. There seems to be a lot in there. Characters. And so, then we also had to draw, we had to yes. we had to create the houses again that yes. we're gonna hold up. Slytherins. Slytherin, right here. Ravenclaws. Ravenclaws. Right here. <laughs> Mine looks like a, some sort of goose. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. This is the one Boom. I'm most proud of. Aww. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your humble house. This is my house and I can't do a badger. Have a pass. What the heck is this? Some sort of crime fighting yes. dog. <laughs> That's so great. There's so many names in here. Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Ooh, you know what? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Three, two, one. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. I knew you were gonna say Did you Slytherin. Really? <laughs> She's a great example of like a really good yeah. Slytherin. Like she knows what needs to be done, and she knows there's a way to be done. In every job that has that must be done, there's an <laughs> element of fun. But she's also able to like at the end of the day, once the problem is solved, she is able to detach herself and go on her merry way to the next problem that mm. needs to be solved. I, don't know, I as, kind as of a Ravenclaw, understand. I feel like I relate to her in that way of like the things that need to be done. I guess the precision of it and the the analytical kind of. You know what? I totally see where you're coming from. <laughs> I do because you're uh, there is that also that element of just like being able to process it and like be completely with. Drawn. And I guess Mary Poppins doesn't like demonstrate that ambition. Yeah, she that's what I was thinking. I don't think she, she doesn't really have like an charity. end goal. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Ravenclaw. Yes! Ravenclaw. Point! I'll concede. <laughs> okay. Cogsworth. Yes! Oh, okay. Ooh! I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. How about five? Ravenclaw! Ah! <laughs> Ravenclaw was my instinct. Oh yeah, it was. But Hufflepuff. Were you just feeling like you were just choosing Ravenclaw too much? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. But also, I feel like he's all about the work that needs to be done. Right. And like working on that. Mm. Not necessarily like analytically, but just get to work. Do what we're supposed to be doing and <laughs> stop worrying about all this other nonsense, I guess. I don't know. See, I feel like Lumiere is the Ravenclaw to Cogsworth. No, Lumiere is the Hufflepuff to ah. Cogsworth is Ravenclaw. Cogsworth's yeah. always with John. She's like, oh, and like Lumiere's just like, come on, enjoy it, romance. And you're like, no, no romance. They just need to kiss. They need to give <laughs> gifts. Let's solve the problem. Okay, I'll give you the point. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Frollo. Oh my goodness gracious. Back to Notre Dame. For the villains, we want to try to not put them in Slytherin. Yeah. If possible, we want to try to put them in something in different non Slytherin. Things. You know what? Mm. I, okay, I think I've made a decision. Have you made a decision? No! Okay, yeah. And go. Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. <laughs> I thought about Ravenclaw. Also. I, it's so tricky. Why do you say Gryffindor? I'm curious. I just thought about all of his pride and uh, mm. kind of boast. Deanness and like wanting to like That's a overpower good point. his obsession with fire. I just think it's very Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> I like the these elements. like elemental associations with houses. <laughs> yeah, he's almost like leading off a crusade yeah. to eliminate a lot of people yeah. in a very warrior-like sense. Yeah, I feel like he's being led with very like fiery, passiony thing mm. rather than like analytical. Yeah, he does have like a he does want a, like a claim to fa and he enjoys the power that he has. I'm gonna give that to you, <laughs> Ariel. Ooh. Oh, stupid, stupid Ariel. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I say that as, you know, the mermaid of the room, but. Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ah, we haven't agreed. I've never seen, like, the fighting spirit. Like, she's just fascinated mm. by things. Like, she's she's not Ravenclaw, because I don't think a Ravenclaw would have signed the contract. Nope. But a Hufflepuff <laughs> was, like, she was so drawn to this other world that she wanted to belong yeah. to, but she's such a f sweet spirit in a way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like I Gryffindor too. I just think she's too. too, like, reckless. I, that's a good point. Yep, you get that point. <laughs> you get that point. You're totally but right. Daddy, I love it. I'm I like, know. Oh. That's a, such a good point. Drama you queen, definitely get that stupid, point. just jumping into things without <laughs> thinking. Ugh, typical Gryffindor. I love that. Okay, yeah, that's totally Gryffindor. Ah, she's Gryffindor. Ding. <laughs> Simba. Okay. Try not to be too influenced <laughs> by his species. <laughs> oh 
man. And then you start to really think about and it. And you start to think about it and you're like, oh. Three, two, one. Hop up. Hop He he just needed to get out. He didn't want the power. I know. He reluctantly. Yeah, he like ran took away. The That's interesting. Because like was when he was a, when he was younger, it seems very Gryffindorish. Mm -hmm. But I think he was just in love with the idea of like being king yeah. without knowing the responsibilities. Well, we agree! We agree. Point for both of us. Point for both of us. Fortitude. Fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my turn. That was a good one. That was enlightening. Yeah! That was cool. Mooshu. Mooshu! Mooshu. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. You ready? No! Wait, wait, uh. wait, wait. I'm, I'm now, I'm really, I'm second guessing. Hold on. Three, you ready? two, one. Hufflepuff. Oh! Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> I was between Slytherin and Gryffindor. I'm just thinking of him like trudging through and trying to like. Keep calm while people are doing things that he's right. like, why? <laughs> mm, just trying to like stick to his duty, which is to like protect this girl and like yeah. it's so tricky, guide her. Because I feel like the whole reason he first started out was because he, he couldn't stand being in the position that he was in. And even when he destroyed the I don't the remember grave, that much. Well, he was like the gong, he just was the gong uh -huh. hitter. So okay. he's like, he couldn't stand that. And then when he destroyed the gigantic dragon, he found that as an opportunity to then take on his own chance to, to, to protect. Okay. Or I, so I you forget. see ambition in I, there. I did. That could have been like recklessness or that could have mm. been sneakiness. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. And eventually he found that he could sacrifice his own ambitions for Mulan's. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice little growing. Yeah. Growing experience for Mushu. While Not I see like lizards. sacrificing ambition for someone else as a Hufflepuffy thing, I'm gonna give you the point just for like argument's sake and knowledge's true. sake of Mushu. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And because I like I'm giving a good character Slytherin. Right? Like he's he's a good Slytherin. Yeah. Sebastian. Oh my goodness, Sebastian. Three, two, two one. one. Hey, Hufflepuff. Ah! He's content with where he's at. This is how mm. I do things every single day. Mm. And Ariel's throwing a frickin' wrench into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is such a big influence on my decision, but like being a con conductor is just very Ravenclaw to me. Very Ravenclaw? Like that like precise music. The Professor Flitwick. <laughs> yeah. Something like yes. this way it comes. Sebastian would be Professor Flitwick <laughs> if he went to Hogwarts. <laughs> I feel he like he's be very frustrated with the stupidity that surrounds him, and I relate. <laughs> you know, you relate. <laughs> I hope you don't mean anybody in particular in not, this room. Not at current, <laughs> present time, but... Um. Well, I'm willing to concede. I'm willing yeah! to concede, because that's a really good point. Scar. <gasps> Scar. We have to try to not be obvious. I, I understand, but this one I, I don't uh, know. I, I can... know, I know. <laughs> it's oh, Scar. I know, okay, Three, three two, two, one. one. Slytherin. Like, he's so ambitious, yeah, and he's willing to kill his own his brother only thing to is get ambition. the throne. Kicking butt. Mulan! Oh, Mulan. Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yay! Green. That's definitely an agreement okay, one. Cool. Stitch! 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 Oh, man. <laughs> this one's a tough one. I know! Wait, I'm between... Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yes! <laughs> He's so like just reckless and like he does his own thing. Yeah, but also really... like good with a heart. Very. Yeah. Very. He does deep down want to belong and all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> He's very much like the misunderstood Gryffindor. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. He's like Fred and George. Gryffindor. What? Like Fred and George. Oh uh, yes. He's the Fred and George of <laughs> Disney. Nala! Ooh, Nala! Nala. Sexy, sexy lion. She, <laughs> she gave those bedroom I eyes know. to Simba in the movie <laughs> way before I knew what that meant. <laughs> Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yeah, she she is she is the Gryffindor to Simba's yeah. Hufflepuff. She's the one who's like, get off your butt. Cause like, stop he needed Hakuna a Matata yeah. over here. You have a kingdom to take care yeah, of. Yeah, you got things to do. Yeah. You got She's a like, destiny. It's what's you right. got stuff. Yeah. <laughs> S 
Snow White. Oh, hmm. snap. I'm not gonna overthink this one. Yeah. <laughs> three, 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 two, one. one. Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's just hardworking. Yep. She keeps to herself. Yeah. She's like, I'm sorry that I slept in your bed. I'll, I'll take care of you. <laughs> she it, didn't have any ambition. No. She didn't have any, like, didn't quite think it through. interest in <laughs> intellect like, in yeah, any way. Yeah, she didn't, like, go, maybe I shouldn't eat this apple. <laughs> <laughs> Hufflepuff is like, apple? Thanks. Apple? It's, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is, looks like delicious apple right here. I love you, Hufflepuff. Hey, I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, I know. I would probably accept produce <laughs> off the street. <laughs> I have so much fun with these things. I know. Mm. Hercules. <gasps> Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'd like, I'd like to make some sweet music. <laughs> Our story. <laughs> Three, two, one. Gryffindor. Yeah, Gryffindor. Yeah. Because he—he's not content with like where he's at. He yep. wants to be better. I've never thought about this before, but it's a very Gryffindor quality to like want to find somewhere where you belong. Like, oh. you feel like you're not in that place yet where yeah. you like, belong. That's a good point. <gasps> Quasimodo. Ooh! That's a good one. I have not seen this movie in 15 years, so I'm not gonna know. Yeah, because it's so sad to watch. <laughs> I can't watch it for too long because it's so sad. Three, two, one, <laughs> Gryffindor. I think he's pretty... <laughs> Dedicated to his job, and he's just a good guy. But do you remember the song Out oh, yeah. There? <laughs> but like, does he do anything about it? Yeah, he went out to the festival oh, of I, fools. I guess. And and ventured out there. Also, I don't like, remember these things. Because I was gonna go with Hufflepuff until I was like, no, he defied Frollo. Mm. Big okay, time okay, you win, go. you win. <laughs> yep. King Triton. Oh my goodness gracious. Right? They're doing Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Oh! <laughs> what was wow. your what was your reasoning behind it? Uh, my reasoning is only like he's got a duty, he's gonna do his duty, he's got a daughter, he's gonna duty. do what he can. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's gonna do what he can to protect his daughter and he's gonna be like pretty stubborn about it. Yeah. He wants everything to just stay the same. Yeah. And Which he's, is not Griffin. It's Nora. very selfish. It's yeah. very want like very narrow minded. Because I was between that and Ravenclaw, but it's it's very like he acts against reason. Yeah. And he doesn't trust his daughter. Yep. He just goes against his daughter. Yeah, puff, puff. Puff, puff. Whoa. Whoa. Miko? Miko! From Pocahontas? Miko. The raccoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know enough about this. Although, I know enough. Okay. <laughs> Wait, two, what? Gryffindor. Gryffindor? I feel he's a little show-offy, a little boastful, a little reckless, but not like drastically so. That's a good point. I was literally mainly thinking of the fact that he was doing anything to get those crackers. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I had this thought also, but I was like, I don't want I don't want to judge stereotype Hufflepuff so. <laughs> Stereotype me. <laughs> but he is willing to make amends with the pug. He's very kind, you know? He's not like unforgiving. I'm gonna give it to you. you get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it before you change your mind. <laughs> no, John oh, Smith. Oh no! All I know is he's not Slytherin. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Boom. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Why Hufflepuff? <laughs> <laughs> He's like the adventurer. He's the no he's known on the crew to like jump off the ship to save Thomas. And I only know that because it's one of the only Disney characters with the name Thomas, <laughs> other than Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat. He does not stay put. He's not a Hufflepuff. He's not a Hufflepuff, really. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, okay, fine. I'll give it to you. Okay. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Aladdin. 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 Three, two, one. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Really? I don't want to say uh, Slytherin just due to the end of the movie when he decides to like free gen genie and stuff. That's not very Slytherin. But he's so sneaky, and he was all this lying and and all this deception and all this. Uh, mm, That's a good. All this ambition and. Yes, but would you classify it as ambition, or he was trying to do what it took methodically to get the girl that he loved? I would say it's clever. Was it? And he's the one who outsmarted Jafar to make Jafar wish the things he wished. Yeah. Ah! 
Speaking of a Slytherin. Okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah? Yeah. I just love the idea of him being a Slytherin. No, I liked that too, and I really liked <laughs> I did, honestly, I liked your reasoning behind it. And I don't know, I feel like a real Ravenclaw would be able to do it without so much deception. Because I feel like it's, it doesn't help your cause in the end, because she's just gonna be pissed at you for lying so much, and he keeps lying when he doesn't need to. If anything, I would say he's a, he's a Griffin Claw. <laughs> because it's a reckless kind of cleverness. Yeah. You know? Yeah, interesting. Okay, yeah. It's like, it's like it. that cleverness mixed with the I must do the right thing in the end. He's a Griffin Claw. Rapunzel! Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> yes, that one! <laughs> Three, two, two one. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she wants to get out of there. Yeah. She's very not happy with yeah. this. When will my life begin? <laughs> yeah. And when she gets down to the tower, she ha goes through those emotional mood swings. Yep. <laughs> well, what you does that win. mean? Oh my goodness! You win. I love that game. We got to do because there's so many more Disney characters. So many. And so many more Pokemon. And my friend Sarah Snitch, shout out to her. She has a little series on her channal where she does this like movie by movie. Really? She'll sort Disney <gasps> characters. Really? Yeah. That's I'll so link it cool. In the description. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Thomas yes. wins to ah! award him. Be sure to I think we go both. to his channel, Ooh. subscribe, yes, and please. watch the video that we made on his channel. Yes, we made one on my channel. They were super fun. Yeah. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thomas. Thank it's you, always Anna. a joy. Oh. Oh. I always like being here. It's so fun talking with you. I know, because we, we love all the same things. Just thing. nerd just, out. Oh, I love combining <laughs> these fandoms with you. It's yes, so yes. Anyhow. I'm all I'm down to see some fan art of, of Stitch and Gryffindor. Yes! <laughs> Be sure to comment your thoughts if you felt strongly about any of these characters and how they're sorted. Yeah. And uh, hit thumbs up and all that whatever stuff. Yeah, man. Go watch the video on his channel. Bye! Woot!